Hey everybody, oh my gosh, Sarah Taylor here. I am so excited. We have a huge August in front of us. I am just, we are coming off one of the biggest momentum months that we've had in a long time. Our recruiting numbers last month were absolutely incredible, and I'm so proud of you guys. We have so much energy. We had so many people just decide that, you know what, this is the time. We're going to be successful going forward, and I could not be ex more excited for you guys. Um, August has the potential to just completely, completely set the tone for our fall and our winter, and it is off to an absolutely phenomenal start. So I cannot wait. We have so much on the um, schedule for you guys this month that's going to help you guys Move your business forward. We have silver in seven days coming up. And whether you're a wholesale ambassador just in it for the discount, whether you're a seasoned ambassador that's been around for a long time, or whether you're brand new, silver in seven is definitely something that you guys want to get plugged into. Man, it just shows you exactly what to do and it gives you really small, achievable things to do each day to help bring you success in this business. And sometimes, even as seasoned ambassadors, we just need that reminder to get us going again. So definitely check out silver in seven days and especially if you're a wholesale ambassador, Silver in Seven Days is going to help you guys pay for your products, number one. And I don't know who here doesn't want to have free products. But number two, Silver in Seven Days is actually going to give you guys the opportunity to have an accountability partner. Accountability partners increase your success on the products so much, up to 95%. So it really behooves you to get an accountability partner and to follow that Silver in Seven Days. Does it mean that you have to promote this business like crazy? Just tune into the silver in seven days and you'll see what it's all about. And I'm really, really excited about that. We've got opportunity meetings, like I said, and then we have a um, new ambassador training tonight with Ashley Marcel. So definitely tune into that. Um, but so here we are, we're at the first of the month. What does the first of the month mean? It means goal setting. I am, I love setting goals. Um, goals allow me to dream really, really big. It allows me to have that vision. And I've always been a dreamer. I've always been somebody that is all about, hey, what I say, I do. So whatever I put out there, I end up striving to try and achieve. So those goals, I love writing them down and putting them in a, um, piece of paper or something the way you see them every single day. I like putting them on my bathroom mirror and I make them really, really simple, really achievable, something that um, I, I know I can do, but it stretches me, you know? And then I always pay, do one BHAG goal. So what is a BHAG? B, BHAG means big, hairy, audacious goal. So I have my goals that are gonna stretch me to my limits that are achievable, but they're pushing me. The right, my B hack is one that's like my big goal, the big one, the big one, the one that I'm dreaming so big about that it's incredible. The one that's going to make me push myself to all my limits, the one that's going to make me strive beyond anything that I thought I could do. So, set that B hack goal there too, and sit, then sit down and think about. Put it into achievable bites, okay? So what are you going to do this month? What, where do you want to end this month? Where do you want to end six months from now? That, that six-month goal will really help you set your one-month goal. So think about that. And then think about the activity that has to take place in order to achieve those goals. I'll tell you what. I love the, um, the IPA, Income Producing Activity, five, three, <laughs> one. Those are, I love that, 531. I do that every single morning when I wake up. Now your 531 might be a little bit different than mine. So my 531 looks like this. Before I, my feet hit the floor in the morning, I wake up and I say, okay, I've got to reach out to five of my team members because I have a very large team. I've got to reach out to three of my potentials or do three follow-ups. So I'm either cold contacting three people or I'm following up with people. And I've got to reach out to one ambassador that may have quit a little bit too soon. That's what mine looks like. So I know first thing in the morning, I've woken up and I've done everything that I need to do as far as activity to, that's going to draw my business forward, right? Everything, you ha it's all about priorities. We don't have to work this business every single day, all day long, but it's about prioritizing our time and prioritizing everything that's going to get us the biggest results based on those goals. So if something is not going to help you achieve your goals, you need to really weigh and see, okay, is it really important that I do it today? But you guys sit down and think about those goals. Think about that. Help your team members, if you have a team underneath you, help your team members roadmap and see, okay, this is what my team looks like this month. This is how much, how many points I think that you guys are going to hit this month. And this is what I want you guys to strive for. 
Um, give them some goals. People need something to work for. People want something to strive for and to push for. They need something that's, you know, dragging them on. And so your got you guys, your goals should help you hit your end results. So for me, my, my end result with all of this is always time freedom. I want to spend as much time as possible with my kids. And I want my husband to spend as much time as possible with my kids. So for us, that means retiring my husband fully. Um, for us, that means we need to get to the next level. So I know what my goals are as far as ranks, as far as um, six month goals, long, you know, 10 month goals, that type of thing, um, one year goals from now. But I want you guys to sit down and write those all down. There is something about writing those goals down and then sit down and do your projections. So how do you project in this business? Um, I want you guys to log into your back office, click on your genealogy report, and then look through that report and look for at your team. And I want you to project everybody that's a blue line right now. That means that they're active. They're, that means that they are actively taking the products and they should be ordering those products this month. Those are your projections. You multiply that out by the points that get, are given at each level for those people. So your levels one through three are five points. Your levels four is four points and so on. So that's how you do the projections. Where you're at right now is probably more than likely what you're going to end at this month um, with those blue lines. Now, how that's the thing though with this. Your business is fully able to be, um, there, there's so much strategy involved and so much that we can actually um, control and push forward. So I want you guys to really focus this month on number one, recruiting. Let's add some new amazing people to our team to help build our business forward and to impact their lives too. We know this opportunity is absolutely incredible, and so we want to help push them forward as well. Number two, we need to look back in our office and say, hey, did we sign somebody up last night or last month that is already inactive on day one of this month? That's not okay. So we need to reach out to those people right now. Um, the other thing is, did we have somebody in our back office that maybe quit 60 days? and they quit instead of giving it the full 90 days. We need everybody to have that 90 day commitment. So anybody that is showing us inactive in your back office that has quit too soon, I want you guys to follow up with on the beginning of the month. So two things right now, I want you guys to write your goals down and put them up. Number two, I want you guys to start contacting people. Let's start moving this business forward right now. August is a huge month. It's a huge month for growth. People are coming back from vacations. People, uh, kids are going back to school. Teachers are going back to school. Everybody needs energy right now. And everybody is going to go out and see more of their network right now. We have more opportunity to see people right now than ever before. So I want you guys to really focus on August. Help us move this business forward like crazy. And I want you guys to get plugged in. We have so many opportunities to get plugged in this month and to really, really move your business forward. So I want you guys to lock arms. Let's do this. Let's move this together and let's make August amazing.